For third down on week three of the Hurry Up Offense, we are discussing the surprise team in college football so far. Good or bad, doesn't matter. A team you were expecting to be good who has started off poorly. A team you expected to be poor who have started out 2-0 perhaps. Joe Coughlin, start with you. Hurry up. Who's your surprise team? Uh, well, I don't know what exactly I expected, but I expected a decline from Texas A&M. And what I've seen is is some pretty spectacular play uh, out of the Aggies. I mean, they went and, and beat up on South Carolina, um, and they got a quarterback that set all kinds of records, you know, a year after they had a Heisman Trophy winner, and then a Heisman Trophy winner that really had a better season um, last year. So uh, Texas A&M is looking pretty good, and they got a slew of young guys. They might be good for years to come. I don't know about this year. They run into a gauntlet in the second half of the season, uh, but right now uh, the Aggies are pretty tough. Yeah, they look really strong so far this year. Joe Jenkins, who's your surprise team for you? Uh, I'm going to go the other way. Uh, it's a team I mentioned last week. Uh, they surprised me and not in a good way. UCLA, man. I mean, this is a team that we talked about being a potential playoff sleeper, might be able to take the Pac-12, and they've struggled a lot against two teams that they should have beaten. I mean, they had the excuse in the first week because they had to fly cross-country to play Virginia. But if you're UCLA and you're a borderline top 10 team that's fighting for a playoff spot, you should not struggle against Memphis. It's just ridiculous. So uh, that O-line has a lot of problems, and, I mean, they're winning games because of, you know, the sheer athletic ability of Brett Hundley. And, uh, but, I mean, to be honest with you, right now they look like a team that could lose four games in the Pac-12 schedule. And I touched on this during second down, but personally my surprise team is Northwestern. Did not expect them to be 0-2. I did not expect them to be good. I did not expect them to lose to Cal and IU, though. So – that was that's been at home. Both games at home. It was, it was a poor showing. Either way, I had to throw that in there because I'm disgusted by it. But, but Joe Jenkins, Joe Coughlin, thank you so much for joining us on third down. And we're coming up with fourth down in just a moment. Our bold predictions.